in this tutorial I'll give you a basic introduction about the set engineering ERP system so in this login screen you have to specify the username and the password if you have entered the wrong one it will prompt a message saying username or the password is not being provided if, it, if you can't remember any of those you can click this forward password and you can specify your email and the email will be sent to your email address specifying the correct username and the password so when I'm entered with the correct username and password it will prompt into the log main screen in the main screen in the left side you can see the menu it's a jtree and it specifies the authorized functions for that user as I am logged in as the director one of most of the functions I am I have the authorization to uh, view and do the transactions in the middle I get the stock summary the base I get the all the sync coil details here because the sync coil details is the most most uh, uh, used raw material in the factory and in this place I can get the current time and the logged in uh, user's name and in the below I can get the productions for the day in the right side I get the common functions for the user even though this changes with the user type these five things don't change with the user and you can access any of these functions as any user no new messages this inbox function is for the uh, internal messaging you can send an email to anyone and user settings you can change the user settings and send the email you can send the emails to anyone and calculator you can get the windows calculator in a one shot and do those editing and calculations log off or log off to log off and the messenger is to send messages between users so that is a basic introduction about ERP systems main interface and the uh, other functions